Hello, uh, welcome to Informatica Support Portal. Uh, my name is Arvind Katte, as a part of the MDM support team here at Informatica. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about the, how to create the users and roles using the MDM automation tool. So agenda for this topic, uh, what is MDM automation utility? MDM automation utility is location, and what are the parameters required to run the create users and the roles? And we'll go through with the demo section, which will, which will create the users and roles using the MDM automation utility. And the final is the troubleshooting tips. Uh, prior to the release of this tool, uh, many configuration activities, such as the creation of the users, associations of the users with the roles, generation, and the deployment of the ORS specific APIs, and the LED applications were done through manually using the hub console of the LED config page. Whereas by using the MDM automation tool, this tool allows running these operations through the command line to better enable scripting and automation. It involves one time setting up the properties for some generic information and then running the commands for configurations and the deployment process. So while installing the Informatica MDM hub, so you will if you install the resource kit, then you will find this MDM automation tool in the below location. So that is like the Informatica MDM installation directory. Then you have to traverse to the hub and resource kit under the automation. Then you will find the MISC automation. Then under that, the MDM automation folder. To create the users from the automation tool, so you need to specify some of the properties in the automation.properties file. So those are like so how many how many users you want to create in the hub console? That is the property called the number of users. So the user first name, user middle name, user last name, and the unique name for that particular user. That is called as the user name. And the password. Suppose if your user is exist in the LDAP level, then you no need to pass the password. So to make that uh, secure, so you need to enable this external authentication to one. Okay. So then you need to follow that particular user email address and whether that particular user you want to create it as an administrator or not. To specify that, these administrator should be set it to true or false. Based on, uh, that is uh, like yes or no based upon your choice. This is all about the create users. In the next slide, we will discuss about uh, how we will assign the roles to this particular user. So after creating the user, so you need to assign the particular role to that user. So you have to specify again the same properties in the automation dot properties file. So you need to specify the username. You need to specify the ORS ID that is called the database ID and to which user role that you want to assign that particular user. Like for example, in this screen, so you are seeing the username a cutter that has to be assigned to the manager. So if you want to assign the same user with the multiple rows, then you need to give the next level like manager. After that, you can give the data steward or data manager. So once you have once you have saved the, all the properties required for the create users and the roles purpose, then the very next step is so you need to execute the command. So we are providing the two types of command. One is with the .cmd for the Windows platform, and uh, another one is .sh for the Unix platform. The first command is the create user. So the create users will create the user in the MDM hub console. And the second command is assign roles to users. So this command, what it will do is, it will assign the particular roles to the specific user. That's all from the create users and the roles command. So now we will walk through with the demo, how to create the user and assigning the roles to that particular user in the MDM hub console. So the demo activity is uh, showing in the MDM 10.3 step two version. So, so first uh, you have to traverse to the resource kit. So then automation, then misc automation, then here you will find the MDM automation, okay? So you need to go inside this. MDM automation. Okay, so let me sort out with the file size so that it will be easy for me to go through the total of the files required. So first thing you need to open the MDM automation dot, uh, dot properties file, okay? So here 
here is the property style automation property style. So let me open it. This is not the first test. Yeah. So this properties file contains the specific properties with respect to your app server. So in our case, we are using the JBoss uh, for our demo purpose. So I am setting the properties which are related to the JBoss level. Suppose if you are using WebSphere or WebLogic, then you have to make sure the the properties whichever you are setting should be according to your according to your app server level. Okay. So this is my host uh, machine where my MDM app server is installed, and this is the JBoss remote port so that the J, um, so that our outside application will communicate to our MDM hub console via the remote port. So you need the MDM admin username and the password to communicate with the hub console from the outside. Right? So you are running the automation tool. So you need the username and password to communicate to the hub console. Right? So those things you need to provide it here. So the username is the admin, the password name, whatever you have done. So we have one more option. So where you can pass the password as the encrypted password also. So like if your organization for the security purpose, you don't want to pass the plain text. So we recommend you to, you can use the MDM admin encrypted password. So you can encrypt the password. So using the by blockage encryption method is there, right? So that one, so you can encrypt this one and put it this here. So for this demo, we are creating one particular user. So the user person is a, like a win. And the last name is Kate, whereas username is A Kate, and password is I'm giving the same. So this is very important. Okay. So is external authentication. So if your user is existing some other server, like in the LDAP server level, so in that case, you no need to give the password here. Because the authentication will be taken place at your LDAP server level. So in that case, so you need to mark this property to yes. So in my case, so I am not uh, the LDAP user, so I am like the normal user, so I am giving the username and the password, okay? So these two are not the mandatory field, whether you can do the emails or the administrator. So is administrator is whether this particular user, so you want to make it as the admin or not. So to provide that one, so you need to pass either yes or no, okay? So that's it all about the automation of property style. So now we will run the command to see whether, uh, to see how the user will be created in the MDM hub console, okay? So let me open the command prompt to run this one. So the first thing is create users.command. So we will run this one. So what it will give? In the database connection, committing the user. Okay. So you can see the message create user operation was successful. Check the Apple logs for any outings or not. Okay. So this information will be present in the log file also. Okay. So we will uh, work through with that log also. And this is the MDM automation dot log file which got created when you are running the create user dot com. So we will work through with this now. Yeah, so the execution will start from here, like uh, so calling up this uh, MDM automation util and whatever the properties you have mentioned, so it will take care of everything. So this middle name, which is required, test rate is being zero. And here, yeah, calling admin user, and this is created a cut in the hub console. So you remember, right? So we give the username as a cut, so this one it is got created. Okay. So the create user got successful. So now we will verify whether this particular user is created in the MDM hub console or not. Okay. Okay. So this is my user. This is my MDM hub console. See, you can uh, now only the username. This is admin and it was E360 hub and added employee. So recently we ran the create user command, right? So we are not seeing any username there. So let me refresh the users. So then we can see the particular admin cut username is there or not. Okay. 
So you can see it right. So the first name is Arvind and the last name is Kate and the username is Kate and is Kate. So this is what I am talking about the property. Suppose if you set it as the is administrator, then this should be come here it as the checkbox. And that's all from the create user. So next we will trouble next we will uh, run the command uh, with the roles. So how to assign the role so with this uh, newly created user. Okay. Okay, so the create user has done. So now we will assign the roles to the newly created user. So the username I'm giving the AKT and the database ID. So this is your ORS ID. So you have to copy it from your MDM Hub console and the role which you want to assign. So I want to assign the data steward role to this particular user. Okay, and that's it from so these three properties are enough. So you can save this file and execute the command. So let me open the command prompt. So the particular assign role to user. Assign roles to user command. So let me execute this. So now you can see, right? So this uh, assigned role to user operation was successfully. So this is on the... Yeah, so it got successful. So we can verify in the logs. So let me open the update first. Okay, let me reload this information dot log file. Let me go to the end. Yeah. So database connection or database and the assigned roles to user successful. So now we will go to the MDM Hub console and verify whether the data steward has been assigned to the AKT or not. So this is my MDM Hub console, so you can see right. So data steward is contained on the admin. So let me refresh this user assigned roles. Load has been now changed. Yeah, so you can see right. Okay, so we get the data steward as in the automation dot properties file. So it is assigning this roles to this particular user. And that's it. Uh, all from this create user and assigning roles to this particular user. So if you face any issue while running this command, so I will recommend you to go through with the log file. So we are printing all the log messages, what are the things going wrong. So you can troubleshoot it from here, this log file. So you want to you want to do more action with using the MDM automation tool or MDM automation script, then I would recommend you to go through with the readme.txt file. So in this readme, so it contains some around 12 to 14 commands. So, my, yeah, so recently we have um, create users and one more is assign user to roles to database, assign roles to user, so this concept. So if you want to explore more on this automation tool, then I would recommend you to go through with this readme file, so it contains the detailed description about this. Or you can stay tuned for the upcoming videos from the Informatica support. So we will be doing some more videos with respect to the, this LDAP users and the IDD configurations and the IDD deployment site. Yeah, that's all from the create user and the roles. So if you have any questions, so we would like to hear you from you. So you can mail us support videos at informatica.com or you can put a comment on the below section so that uh, you will get the answer from our end. Thanks for your time. So see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more informative and related videos. Thank you.